One project, I made a charge case using the uh, HP DPS 1200 watt FBA power server supplies. Thanks to Justin Pucci and the uh, RC Heli Nation uh, webpage, I was able to uh, learn how to do that. It was actually a pretty easy process. It was a great tutorial and uh, some extra help from Justin was uh, instrumental in making this happen. So thanks, man. Appreciate it. I hope fully uh, you'll like the case. So I got the case from Harbor Freight. Uh, it wasn't that expensive, maybe like 10 or 12 bucks, I think. Um, so you can see the, uh, I think it's the 250 millimeter fan. That's an exhaust fan pulling air out. I'll have, uh, I've got the uh, 120 millimeter fan blowing air in, and that's from Radio Shack. And I got another 120 millimeter fan blowing in, and that's from Radio Shack. And then uh, the power switches for uh, both the supplies. And then on the back, I got uh, the input for the power cable. So opening it up, just uh, pop it open. I got the uh, jam box, thanks to PureTech for the uh, Velcro uh, straps. Uh, turn that on and uh, get some tunes going, hopefully some Breaking Benjamin. Then uh, open up the top of the case and that's where I stow my cable uh, to plug it in. So we'll pop that open. Got that for uh, all this from Lowe's. Wasn't that expensive, maybe uh, 10 bucks in materials. So, but I wanted to get a uh, locking uh, plug so that uh, it wouldn't fall out. So, we'll just go ahead and pop that sucker right in. Slight twist, it's locked in now. So, plug this into the wall. Take a look. My power switches show red, showing that there's power available to the box, but no power yet to the power supplies. Got a uh, Revelectrix Cell Pro Power Lab 8. Uh, phenomenal charger. Uh, I got this set up on a 24 volt system. Uh, the leads are long enough so that uh, if I want to pull it out of the box and set it on the uh, table or something like that, I can do that. Um, so you can see in here, uh, the fans on either side, the exhaust fan. Because uh, I was a little over exuberant on the uh, size of the fan, the exhaust fan, uh, I didn't really plan on it this way, but I actually had to trim out the plexiglass uh, to accommodate the fan. But an added benefit, something I didn't actually even count on, was uh, there's enough of the fan here that there's a, it pulls the air out from underneath the charger to help keep the charger cool. So I got uh, these 120s pulling air in, uh, this air pulling out. I can actually pull my anim an anemometer out and uh, register a reading. It's that strong. So uh, again, um, you can, this is a nice little feature. I can. Uh, uh, if I need to, um, I can flip open the lid and get to all my components. It's all modular, so there's no desoldering anything. If I don't, if uh, I need to replace an item uh, because of uh, maintenance, I can just yank it uh, without and, and pull the wires without having to desolder anything. So it works out really well. So. So I'll just set this back in here. Okay. So now I have enough space on either side so that I can uh, charge the batteries here on either side of the charger or uh, put, you know, set them down on the ground so that works out really well. So I can close this if I want to keep the uh, dust down. Alright, well, so I look over here. 
Power one switch. Charger powers up. That's uh, going to be on 12 volts. So, uh, turns green. Now, here comes the second one. Uh, hopefully, you guys are going to like that. Second charger. All right. Blue LED light pulling air out. And like I said, it's uh, got a lot of airflow uh, pulling air out. And then uh, with the 120mm uh, fans pulling air in, you can kind of see this uh, quite a bit of airflow pulling air in on either side. Okay. And like I said, you know, this air, the fan actually pulls air out from underneath the charger. So. So now it's, uh, like I said, as I uh, can now charge on a uh, 24 volt, 1800 watt, 150 amp system. Uh, the HP DPS supplies are uh, awesome. So hopefully uh, you like the setup. I was bored. I uh, was trying to just tinker around and see if I could do it, which was pretty easy after I figured out how to uh, do the nylon screws and stuff. So that was, uh, uh, once I got that figured out, which wasn't too long, I just, uh, everything else just seemed to fit into place. So I can get my uh, batteries going, I can close it up if I want to, and that's my charger. So it actually uh, works really well. Uh, it's not too heavy. So if I need to, just move it around. I'm digging it. Hope you enjoy the video. Thanks. If you guys got any questions, feel free to ask.